Hello everybody, this is Andy Ford Video and we're going to look at how to loop fractal noise. So here we have a solid. We'll go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise to add it. It doesn't really matter what we have the fractal type or noise type set to. Use whatever you wish. Then of course we want to add motion to this, so to do that simply we can set a keyframe for evolution. And then later we'll go down one second here and we'll set a keyframe for one. So when we play this, we see a jump when our timeline restarts. So therefore we are not looping this because the end frame is not the same as the beginning frame. To fix that, we twirl down the evolution options. We see a checkbox for cycle evolution, so we'll select that. And now if we play our timeline, we will no longer see the jump. The way we can verify that is we'll look at our end keyframe here, go to our first keyframe, and we see that nothing changes. We can change this evolution to three play the timeline, and we still don't see a jump because we have the cycle evolution selected. And to verify that again, we could take a snapshot or just go to our end frame, go to our beginning keyframe, and see that nothing changes. It probably is good practice to set the cycle and revolutions to the same number as your evolution keyframe. I would say that would make it more precise. And the last thing you would do is move this keyframe out by one because technically when we're looping, we have the same keyframe happening twice, right at the beginning and the end. This is similar to if you're looping a tire rotating, uh, you don't want to have the last keyframe exactly the same as the first keyframe where the tire technically will stay in the same spot for two frames. So by moving this keyframe out one, now we will have a seamless loop because it will go from the end here to the beginning, which is the next logical progression. So that's a very quick tip on how to make sure your fractal noise loops. Thank you.